Welcome to the broadcast. It's a big one today. Yeah. First round SEAC tournament. You can't lose. And we are underway. Colombo now at the point. Bonner one time and he scores far side. Oh, we've seen that off wing shot from Bonner in the past from Colombo and a one timer. You know, going into this one, when you get into the state uh, playoff race, you, you know, you can't take anybody lightly uh, because one hiccup and you're, the season's done. Ogian takes it into the cadet line, top of the circle. Shot on the screen, he scores short side! You can't win games on your own. Your team has to be there every step of the way, and you have to really connect with them and talk to them. Tell me what you think about Northwest Catholic as a team. Yeah, Northwest Catholic, you know, they're a good squad. Uh, you never know what you're going to get with them. Those teams up north, uh, you don't get a lot of tape. Uh, you don't get to see a lot of stuff that they're doing. Uh, you can just go by their record and their scores. But um, last year they put, you know, a good hurting on us, 9 nothing. So we're looking for a little bit of redemption here. Danielson, he shoots, he scores! What a finish! And what a great contest we had here over Northwest Catholic. This is the ultimate goal. 25 years since Greenwich has had a state championship. Let's uh, hope you can bring it home this year. We'll do our best. Back here at the Ingalls rink as we settle in for period number one between the Greenwich Cardinals and Xavier Falcons. Playing in a game like that, you know the intensity is going to be high. Physical, fast pace. It's a big ice surface. Going to rush down the right wing side. Anthony DePreda able to work on through. Shoots, he scores! Well, we know we could score and we know what we had to do and we just had to get our job done. We didn't really have time to panic. Up ahead, the global left. Good pass onto the tape of Balga Balga's shot. Off the glove and went in, the score! It's two to one. Tyler Ballyu may have taken his eye off the puck. Well, we were down five on three with like three minutes left and we killed it off and then we pretty much were in desperation mode. We were pinching all the time and then Davey made a great pass and it saved our season. So it gave me one more hockey game and I couldn't be more happy. Davey. Into the circle, centering pass, motion shoot, he scores! Credit has tied it! If you don't shoot the puck, you can't score. Um, so, and then in between overtime, it was it was like, all right, we we know we have this, so let's just go out and finish it. Kovalev looks, fires it up ice, onto the tape of Davey. Shot, he scores! Matthew Davey from Kovalev and Greenwich. Wins it in overtime, three to two. They're on to the state championship game Saturday afternoon here at the Ingles. We are live at Ingles Rink in New Haven, Connecticut, where the number one seeded 22 and one Fairfield Prep Jesuits take on the number two seeded 21 two and zero Greenwich Cardinals in the division one men's Connecticut State Hockey Finals. Good afternoon. So glad you could join us here at the Ingalls rink uh, known locally as the Yale Whale. I am Rob Burnett, the voice of Cardinal Hockey. It's a nickname. How did I get it? I gave it to myself. Uh, this is the big one today, ladies and gentlemen. It's all led to this. It's for all the marbles. The championship will be decided. And with me, as always, he is known as the hunk of Connecticut streaming hockey. Don't get distracted by his good looks because there's also a beautiful hockey mind in there. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Jonesy-Jones, welcome to the broadcast. It's always great to be here, and especially on state championship Saturday. I look so ugly next to you. I hate it. Well, you know, Rob, these are just the gifts we're born with. And There's I something I'm lacking as well, but we'll let the people find that out as we go. Pan down. Just kidding. Before we oh. get, st before we get wow. started, before we get started <laughs> with the hockey, which is what this is all about, over here, we see here there's a gaping hole. Giant hole. Let's talk about the elephant not in the room, if we can. Elephant, no. No, you're not. No. You didn't mean that's anything by An that. That's Andrew Boyer, and there's been a lot of rumors about why he's not here today, and we miss him mm. dearly. Let me just straighten it out for you people at home. It was a contract dispute. Late <laughs> last night, Andrew Boyer found out what Jonesy and I have been making on the broadcasts. I spoke to Andrew this morning, tried to talk him into coming. He said it's not it's not personal, it's business, I get it. And my understanding 
and you know this as well, yeah. he's actually out in the parking lot. The lawyers and the agents are trying to settle this. If they can work out a deal, he will come in and join us for the second and third period or, or maybe even for the first. Yeah, I, I, I got uh, gleaned a little bit about what he's asking for. Yeah. He's going to be out there for a while. <laughs> he's going to probably be in the parking lot. Yeah. All right, Jonesy, let's get to the big day, the big hockey at hand. Uh, this has been the way that this season was supposed to end. Number one seed at Fairfield Prep against number two seed at Greenwich Cardinals right here at the Yale Whale. Winner take all. This is the big one. You were down with the Greenwich Cardinals at practice last night at the home rink, the pregame, uh, the, the night before skate. What's the mood down there? How are the boys feeling? What's the, co what's the coaching staff saying? Well, one of, one of the coolest things that, uh, that I, I noticed right away, or actually, I, I had, I had the, the great timing to walk in right as uh, Coach Rorak was giving them their, uh, the little, the, the, the last time he's going to have the guys in the circle in the, in the home rink, giving them their pep talk, just talking about the season. And I literally walked in, and I walked into utter silence, which you never hear in a hockey rink unless it's closed. Absolute silence, every kid on their knees, right around the circle and it was absolutely beautiful and he's just telling them the history of the season he's just going over it with them talking about what they've been through this year how hard they've worked the unity in the group was obvious it was just it was just amazing and you literally could hear a pin drop well it's a team that's worked hard they suffered a lot of inter injuries along the yeah. way managed to fight through it their road to the finals here in the state in the uh, Connecticut State Tournament. Uh, they beat St. Joe's uh, fairly easily, 5 nothing in the first round, yep. uh, and then took care of New, New, uh, Northwest Catholic, 3 nothing in the yep. second round. But the third round semifinal game against Xavier, boy, oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, you saw some of it in the opening, the great opening that James Mayers put together. Uh, they were down 2-1, three minutes to go. Right. Two men down. They get two penalties. Uh, it looks pretty much like it's over. They kill off the two, pull the goalie, and with 40 seconds left, Davey delivers a pass to Mosian. They score, put into OT, and then Matt Davey uh, ends it in OT. Can they get over the emotional high of this and settle down? Do they feel like they've already won it? Is that the risk now for, no. for Greenwich? No, you know what? The, the thing about the, the team, and especially during that game, there was absolutely no panic at all in the whole game. The, the, the team, and even Coach commented about that, they just played calm the whole game. They know they have this offense that they can just rely on. They, have, uh, they can score clumps of goals at any moment. Um, they have such a powerhouse uh, up on the front line, and they have such leadership, especially with senior captain Alex Mosian. Um, and it's not surprising in the least that, th that he, he potted that, uh, the game to put it in overtime with a minute and 19 seconds left coming off, you know, like you said, the 5-3 the kill. I mean, Amazing. any other person, you know, or any other, you know, the, the, uh, the casual sports fan was probably turning off the, the, uh, the streaming broadcast and said, that's it, it's over, they're done. Next, let's, go, let's order some dinner. You know, yeah. Mosian had a different idea, as did the whole team. And um, they just put it together. I think their biggest problem they ran into is they weren't really getting a lot of shots on goal. Mm -hmm. Um, in the second period. It's not that they laid back or anything like that, but the shots weren't going to the net. They are trying to be a little bit too cute, mm -hmm. and I think that, uh, that, that, uh, that held them up a little bit. And then when Bogger put that, his classic off-wing shot in, um, you know, you saw the guys elevate, and Coach told me he got a little hot between periods. When they came out in the third, it was a different story. I mean, it, it took them all the way to the end of the third to get that tying goal, but they were, uh, they were playing at their height, and um, the fact that it took them so darn long was just great drama for us hockey fans. Yes, let's turn now to Fairfield Prep. Uh, let's make no mistake about it, the number one seed favored today for sure uh, in a coaches poll, 22 out of 25 Connecticut coaches earlier, uh, not before the final, but a little bit earlier, yeah. thought that Fairfield Prep would win the state championship. Only two uh, of the 25 said that Greenwich would win. And, of course, there was one that voted for New Canaan. Yeah. The New Canaan it, coach. It's got to be the New Canaan coach. <laughs> we'll never know. The ballots are, are, are closed or sealed. No one ever knows them. <laughs> but I'm guessing it was the New Canaan coach. But nonetheless, uh, Fairfield uh, is the number one seed, a very strong team. Their road to the finals, they beat East Catholic easily 8 to nothing, And then had a, a big game with uh, Notre Dame Fairfield where they were down 3-2 in the third, came back and won 4-3, so an emotional victory of their own in the quarterfinals. And then we watched the Ridgefield game. 
beat Ridgefield 4-1, but uh, you and I were talking beforehand, and, yeah. and you said, and I agree, that that score may not quite be indicative of, of the outcome of how close that game really yeah, was. Yeah, I thought uh, Ridgefield came out. They were both, – both teams were playing hard. I really thought Ridgefield uh, – outplayed them they just had they had something going on that game but what but Fairfield prep you know they have a strong defense but their goalie Jack McGee wow I mean he was unbelievable stood on their head and to take nothing away from the entire team and play it on one guy but really truly um, you know you can't get further unless you have a great goalie he played phenomenal he was he was goalie of the year and uh, he proved why it was it was really an incredible game but I really thought Richfield could they could have had it at any time. I think during during the entire course of the game, they did not let down. They played a very good, uh, very well. And um, you know those guys are strong, and they're going to be uh, something to be dealing with. You know their, their program's always great. It's going to continue to be so. Well, the defending champions, uh, state champions, and beat Greenwich in, in the FCAC final, which was a little bit of, of a disappointment yeah. for the Cardinals. Yeah. However, that all gets completely wiped away if they can take this one today. And let's talk a little bit, Jonesy, about the history of the state championship. Two very different stories from yeah. these teams. Yeah. Greenwich uh, has not won the state championship in 25 years. That's right. And interesting who they played. I'll let yeah. you get to that in a second. Fairfield Prep on the other side, on the other hand, quite a dynasty. They won it in uh, 2014, 2013, 2011, 2008, 2007. Uh, they've been here time and time again. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the history and uh, who did Greenwich play 25 years ago in the state yeah. championship when they won it? Oddly enough, uh, they played Fairfield Prep. And, and, uh, and Greenwich came away with a 3-2 uh, to two victory. And also, as, as sports history and, uh, and drama always insists that there's got to be a storyline, who's on that team? Coach Sather. Uh, so he was, uh, he was on that team in that, in that uh, defeat. Um, so that's a, that's a nice little nugget right there, I think, for, uh, for everybody. Let's uh, talk about the coaches for a second here, because yeah. it's a big part of this. Yeah, big time. Uh, two great hockey minds behind the benches tonight. Coach Sather uh, got his 300th win this year. He's been doing this for a long time. Uh, Rurak, it's his second year, but boy, oh boy, in two years, he has just infused this whole town uh, with excitement. Oh, the, 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 the Hamill is packed on a regular basis. Everywhere you go, you go into Corbo's Deli. The, <laughs> the, the chat is is constantly about Cardinals hockey. It's really, it's become a, it, it already was a hockey town, but it, it's really bubbling over. Uh, what do you see from these two guys tonight? Uh, what is their main objective? What is their main goal in, in getting their team to play the way they need to play tonight? Well, you know, uh, both these teams um, have some experience. Um, they, they both play at a pretty high level all the time. Fairfield obviously has this incredible history. Um, Coach Sather's been there for 20 years. He got his 300th win this year. Now, on, on the other hand, you have Coach Rorak, who is, this is his second year. He's got him here to the big dance which is you know, a phenomenal uh, job he's done. He's brought the team together, made them very cohesive, and, uh, and, and it's really exciting. The interesting thing, and I talked to Coach a little bit about this last night, Coach Rorak, that is, that you know, he's sort of, in his vision, and he's told us all season, he's got a vision of building the Greenwich program up so that they're not losing players to the, to the, uh, to the prep schools, to, uh, to go into junior programs, travel programs, various other things. He wants to make this a cl the class of the state kind of program, and he's certainly on the way. And if you look at Coach Sather across the ice, He's he's built that program, he's so, it, so yeah. it's a little not necessarily Davy and Goliath, but maybe you know he you know Coach Rock has a goal and has a dream in mind well beyond just winning the championship this year, and it's nice to see and what 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 better uh, what better situation to be in, you know as as he said as we all say, you got to to be the best, you got to beat the best, and yes. that's what he's got here tonight, and that's what the Dorinders Cardinals have here tonight because there's no doubt Fairfield Prep is one of the best teams in the state. Well, it's a classic passing of the baton. However, I don't think Fairfield <laughs> Prep wants to pass that baton. No. So it's uh, it's two two teams fighting over that baton. Yes, yeah, so if we go all the way back to the Winter Classic, we have oh, interviews yeah. with some of the Greenwich kids saying, you know, what you had the great interviews. You asked them, what what's your goal for the season? To beat Fairfield Prep. Yeah. Because they they that's the best team. That's who they want to play. And here they are at the Yale Whale. Uh, we're, we're about uh, getting ready for player introductions, so we're going to go down to the ice and listen to those live. It is packed here at the Ingalls. Unbelievable. Very exciting day of hockey for you. We'll have the player introductions, and we are moments away from puck drop. Jonesy, pleasure to be here with you. Oh, pleasure to be, be here with you, Rob. And we're excited for a great afternoon of hockey.
know these seasons go on for a long time, Jonesy. They start in November, yep. day in, day out, and this is the way it needed to end. And of course, unfortunately, only one of these teams is gonna be happy in a couple hours, but they both earned their way here. Great seasons for, for both of these teams. Fairfield Prep has not lost a game to a team in Connecticut. Yeah. Their, their two losses on the season came to Del Barton from New Jersey yep. and uh, Malden, I believe, from Massachusetts. That's so correct. they're unbeaten in Connecticut. Yes. Yeah, and then they had a tie with another team. And I wish I had that stat with me right this second. But they also tied another team uh, who are from out of state as well. So they have not lost on, uh, on Connecticut turf this year. Big day for Ben Nash today, who is an honorable mention goalie of the... Uh, he was actually uh, a finalist. Right, in, in a finalist. He was a finalist uh, uh, for goalie of the year. Certainly well-deserved, had a phenomenal season. Uh, and and he's only, I was going to say, he's only a sophomore, so uh, there's going to be a lot to see of Ben in the future, which is great. 2.42 goals against average for the sophomore tender. Stood very tall, did not let in a goal in the first two rounds. Uh, let in only two against Xavier. He's been very strong for the Cardinals, but on the other side of the ice, Jack McGee with a 1.63 goals against average. And as you and I both said, I think he's the reason that these guys are in the final. That Rich, Richfield poured everything they had at, uh, at, the, at the Jesuits. And Jack McGee, you know, the old saying stood on his head, yeah. he stood on his head. No question about it. Uh, yeah, the, he's got a lot of experience, obviously, but uh, he, he was really the difference in that game. And, uh, and he was uh, goaltender of the year, so um, uh, an accolade certainly well earned. Well, he'll have all he can handle. The uh, Greenwich Cardinals with the best offense in Connecticut hockey, I believe they're averaging 5.95 goals a game, which is a little ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's a little bit of a classic matchup today about uh, offense versus defense. It's interesting to look at the scoring. The scoring on the Fairfield prep side, a little more spread out. Yeah. Right, they don't, um, on the Cardinal side, you've got, of course, Mosey and Skater of the year with 60 points on the year, 29 goals, 31 assists. That's got to be right up there. That may be the best in the state. Statistically, I can't imagine anyone having much more than that. We've yeah. got, of course, Nikita Kovalev, 30 goals, 23 assists, 53 points on the year. Matt Davey, 17 goals, 31 assists, 48 goals on the year. Those are your three big ones. I throw Bogger into that mix. Uh, 19 goals, eight assists, 27 yeah. points on the year. He missed a few games. So you got a lot of offense from there. When you go to the Fairfield prep side, a little bit more spread out. Who are, who are the main guys on Fairfield Prep that we should be looking for today, Jonesy? Well, you got you got uh, Joe Mancini and Carter Crawl, both uh, top top in assists. Um, top in goals. I'm sorry, I'm sorry top in goals. Yep. And then you have uh, and Joe Mancini with top in assists. Um, you also have uh, uh, a lot of a lot of efforts coming from Ryan Eckert, their captain. Um, the thing that's interesting uh, uh, in Colin Bella came down with uh, 20, 20 points on the season. If you look at this, the top of 10, 11 guys on the team uh, really spread out their points quite a bit, yep. both from offense and defense. Obviously, mostly forwards are getting uh, getting the the, 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 uh, the goals, but there's a lot of assists spread out through their defense. Um, so uh, there's something, uh, they're a little bit more spread out. They have a wealth of talent, as does Greenwich, um, but their top line is very, very lethal, and they can score from anywhere. One of the big, uh big abilities of the Fairfield Prep Jesuits is the transition. They, yeah. uh, so we saw it against Ridgefield, a lot of pressure, 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 good goaltender, good defense, and all of a sudden, it seems like, oh, we should be winning, oh, we're getting the shots, oh, but we're not scoring, all of a sudden, boom, back the other way, here comes Eckert, here comes Mancini, here comes Crawl, there's a lot of guys yeah. that get you, and boom, that's what happened a lot to Ridgefield. Richfield really had more opportunities, but Jack McGee stood tall. The defense lets up shots, but not necessarily a, lot, a ton of quality shots. And I think that's what, one thing to look for today is can Alex Mosian, Matt Davey, Bogger, Kovalev, can they, can they pressure? Again, we've talked about it all year, a lot of depth on the Cardinals. So as the game wears on, Usually they get better and better as teams yeah. start to get a little bit tired because they've got those three lines 
that can really go interchangeably, whereas other teams start to usually get a little bit weaker on that third line. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the team has such a, a solid uh, one-two line, but the third line can start just about anywhere in the state, which is uh, pretty exciting. Uh, you've got a lot of fast skaters, certainly a lot of great stick handlers. You've got guys like Covey and Mosian who really use the ice well with their skating ability, not never mind their puck handling. Um, and, and these guys really are uh, incredible, being at the right place at the right time, very well coached, very disciplined in the sense of getting in the right position, and also extremely creative. You watch Kobe and Mosey go, and <laughs> it's an exciting thing to watch those guys play. Uh, and then on D with uh, Pelletier, Martinelli, and, and uh, Colombo, and Santry, and, uh, and that, and these guys. Um, and now uh, Ollie, and, Ferdin, and all, oh. Ollie Ferdin coming back, Ollie yeah. Fulton coming back. Let's talk yeah. about Ollie Fulton yeah, for that's a, a moment. Yeah, that's a great story. Uh, the only Cardinal that's been a varsity player for four years, and what a selfless kid this is, a natural forward, gets moved back in the middle of the season because of the injuries. Uh, Santry went down, Madden went down, uh, Pelletier Marnelli uh, had, a, had an upper body injury, and they asked uh, Ollie Fulton to come back. He came back, did so well. They they left him there. He's, yeah, he's he's, he's earned a spot there, did. without question. He's one of their one of the more solid defensemen. Uh, what's great about him is offensive mindedness. Uh, mindedness is that he uh, you know that puck gets out to the blue line. Ollie is quick to snap that thing back in the zone, and that's part of the, the Greenwich strategy is getting those pucks deep. Oh, he's got a great wrist shot, a great snapper, yep. and um, he is putting pucks to the net all the time. And we all know you got to be hard to the net in this game. You want to make something happen, and obviously the, the cards have that ability to get that thing going, get that puck moving, and get that that uh, the pucks on goal, and things happen. I noticed in the Ridgefield game that Isaac Cadigan, who was, an, I believe, an honorable mention D of the year. Yes, he was. Uh, he was out playing offense. Yeah, So yeah. all these kids, are, and Andrew Frost as well, the yep. big junior, normally defenseman, yep. came up playing offense. All these kids really team-oriented, doing what it takes, anything for the team to win. Thatcher Danielson took some time on D, came back up to offense. They're, 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 it's a real uh, all-for-one, one-for-all kind of kind of group mentality, and I think that's all credit to Coach Rurak. Yeah, absolutely. They play, they believe in the system and they play as a team. I mean, they, they are so united. Uh, the kids talked about that right from right from the start. I talked to JT the other day uh, uh, saying that, boy, this takes us back to the Porsche at the Greenwich Skating Club before the Winter Classic against <laughs> Darianne. Right. I was like, we're, we're, we're still, a lot of the things they talked about um, are coming true. They talked about uh, the unity in the in the room, uh, how uh, Matt Davies keeping them loose, being a, being the co uh, the comedian, which we we can't seem to get him on tape. He doesn't want to be on tape. <laughs> he told us if they won tonight that he would give us more than a season's worth of material. <laughs> but um, we'll see about that. Uh, but but uh, the coaches, you know, he's got a philosophy and it seems to be working. The kids are buying into it, uh, and it all starts with the with the D getting that puck deep. And, um, and and really battling in the corners. And these guys are not afraid to go in the corners and get that puck out. Uh, that's why you see all these, so many guys with, uh, with assists and, and uh, some of these top scorers with assists. The top right. scorers are, no, are not afraid to go mix it up in the corners and get that puck out and do what they have to do. Speaking of JT Lawrence, he did not play in the semifinal game uh, due to a major penalty in the quarterfinal game and also yeah. on the Fairfield prep side. Colin Bella, number 26, he also missed their uh, semifinal game against Ridgefield. So both of those players back. Greenwich is fully healthy. We believe Fairfield Prep is also fully healthy. We've got two big squads. This is the state final in Connecticut, the SEAC, Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference Division I finals. This is the big time. These are the big boys. Number one seed, number two seed. We're going to take a quick break for one of our sponsors, the great Houlihan Lawrence. Let's see what they're trying to pedal here and we'll be back momentarily as we are four minutes away from the puck drop. We are back live at Ingalls Rink. 
known as the Yale Whale. We're getting ready for player introductions. And we are getting very close to opening face-off. The Fairfield Jesuits, Fairfield Prep Jesuits, I should say, 22-0 on the year. Seated number one here in the FCAC final up against the 21-2 and 0 Greenwich Cardinals. The Jesuits won the SCC tournament. And here we go. Let's go ice side for the player introductions. Sophomore goalie has had a tremendous season. We have the privilege of being right next to Nick Pelletier Martinelli's mom here. She's a little excited. <laughs> so cute. Ryan Colombo, first season on varsity, really stepped up on defense. Alex Mosian, Skater oh, yes. of the Year. Absolutely. Can't say too much about him. It's no. impossible to. It's He's impossible. tremendous. It's JT. One of the captains. Great lacrosse player as well. Interesting. Dr. Danielson getting the start. Interesting first line here. Very nice. Dr. only a freshman. Here comes Fairfield Prep. Big Fairfield Prep crowd here today as well. This is an exciting day of hockey. Here comes Jack McGee, the senior goaltender of the year. He's going to be a big story today. Gold Castle defender of the year as well, right, Jonesy? That's correct. Matt Kernigan, another senior, three seniors out there. Five seniors. Carter Crawl had a huge goal in the Ridgefield game. Yeah, both teams are stacked. You can't say uh, there's not enough superlatives to throw around. They're just both teams are uh, just absolutely fantastic. They're the two best. That's why they're here. Exactly. Well, one thing I uh, noticed is that the Fairfield Prep Jesuits lined up in order of their number, which is nice for me because I could go over their names. I appreciated that. that. 
<laughs> it's all about me, Jonesy. It's, it, you know, well, if we've learned nothing this season, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> well, we are getting ready for the puck draw. Both teams huddling by their nets. The Fairfield Prep will be wearing, the Fairfield Prep Jesuits will be wearing the home white with red trim. And the Greenwich Cardinals, as the number two seed, will be wearing the visiting red uniforms with black trim. Uh, it feels like hockey in here, doesn't it? It's awfully excited. It's awfully exciting here at the Yale Whale. A little different from some of the Hamill games that we covered early on on exactly. a Wednesday afternoon against St. Joe's. A little bit different. You know, we've come a long way, Jones. We've come a long way. I think there's no question that uh, the team has earned their way here, and so have we. I agree. And I wish Andrew Boyer, for those just yes. joining us, Andrew Boyer not here. He had a contract dispute. He's out in the parking lot. They're trying to work it out. Uh, they're quite a ways off with the money. We'll yeah. see how it happens. He unfortunately found out what Jonesy and I were making on the broadcast and is not with us today. We'll, we'll miss him. We are going to miss him. I don't think we're close uh, with him. We're a zero off right now. We're <laughs> Starting for the Greenwich Cardinals, we've got JT Lawrence, Alex Mosian, and Thatcher Danielson for the Fairfield Prep Jesuits. We have got Oracoli, Kroll, and Devin Blanchett up front. On the back line, Cole Castle and Matt Kernigan for the Jesuits, and Nick Pelletier-Martinelli and Ryan Colombo for the Cardinals. We are just about underway here at the Yale Whale. There's Coach Rurak. Very exciting day for him. They've all worked hard to be here, both of these squads. Good luck to everybody, and here we go. FCAC Finals here underway. Woo! Crawl throws it in. Blanchett and Colombo go for it. Puck loose in the corner, taken now by JT Lawrence. Across the red line, in to the Fairfield prep zone, backhander, stick to, uh, pad it away. And we have a little collision there by with Mosian and Blanchett, but everybody's up. Now this is Cole Castle in across the Cardinal line, watched by Colombo. Good defense there, and Puck flicks up into the netting. You know, you, you, uh, the first two minutes of any game are always really important. We always talk about that. But also in a, in a championship game on this stage here, you gotta be, uh, the kids are just probably thankful that th this puck is finally dropped, making it back to doing what they do. Scott, Skyler Salato and Matt Davey on the draw. Davey wins it, but Kroll, uh, Reeves controls for the Jesuits, gets it back to the point to Carroll, who plays up ahead. Now this is Devin. Puck trickles back into center, hammered back down. Ali Fulton goes for it, but rides around to Bella. Fulton loses his stick, Davey comes in to help. Bella controlling now for prep, back to the point to Jack Carroll, throws it back in behind the net now. This is Solato, taken back now by Matt Davey. Throws it ahead too far for Kovalev, and Connor Boyle will throw it back in. Yeah, right now Fairfield Press playing a little dump and chase. Puck controlled now by Mancini. He's the leading scorer on the Jesuits. Car uh, Eckert back to Mancini, can't get the shot. Kovalev along the near boards. Puck comes out in front. This is Bogger now to Davey. Davey at the low circle, shot wide. Winds back around. Pelletier Martinelli keeps it in for the Cardinals. This is Davey. Davey throws it to the center. Colombo shoots wide. Back to the point now. Pelletier Martinelli winds it down. Cole Castle controls. In front now. Big chance for Bobby. He shoots. He scores. Look at his Cardinals have opened the scoring. Matt Bogger on the off wing doorstep. And the Greenwich fans are going wild. You know, that's just what Bogger does. He gets in those spots, he gets those greasy goals, he gets those snappers, I mean, this kid can do it all. One minute and 47 seconds into the contest and the Greenwich Cardinals have taken a lead. Here Got it is a, again. A quick replay here. Uh, chipped in by, of course, Matt Davey.
It's interesting that in the literature, they seem to be calling him Bill or William. I think that's his actual first name. Unless we've, we've been wrong the whole season, we, <laughs> we call him Matt. All right, this is Sean Prattley on the draw. Devin Blanchett controls for prep. They'd love to get this back quickly. Here comes Prattley, he's got Graves. These two know each other well. Prattley throws to himself. Jack Carroll, Prattley, small but feisty. Oh yeah, he plays much bigger than he is. Taken back by Fairfield Prep. This is Ora Coley, shot blocked down by Santry. Played in the corner now, Fairfield Prep controlling. Top of the circle, throws one on. Ora Coley now controlling for Fairfield Prep. Loses his edge and here comes Greenwich back the other way. Connor Santry, the big defenseman. Missed a lot of the season with a lower body injury, but he's back now and the cards are happy to have him. Absolutely. Mosian in deep now behind the net. Mosian comes out in front, paddled away by McGee and Fairfield Prep. Some of the big defenders come in and say, Alex, we know you're skater of the year, but get off of our goalie. Exactly. I mean, uh, I guess all f they needed four of the five guys out there to come over and say hello, not to mention the goalie. So, uh, but nothing that uh, Alex isn't used to. JT Lawrence on the draw now for the Cardinals up against Skyler Salato. Puck goes behind the Jesuit net. Kernigan flips ahead now to Bella. And Bella starts up. Bella to Reeves at the red line. Throws it deep. Winds around. Colombo and Salato. Salato and Colombo. And now Bella comes in to help. Pelletier Martinelli throwing the body. Great back check by JT. Puck comes in front now. Pelletier Martinelli gets, whacks it away, but Reeves control, tries to throw it on. Castle gets it in deep to Bella. Back to Reeves, backhand goes wide. Danielson. Puck now at Dangerously in the circle. Good pressure now by Fairfield Press. But here comes Mosian back the other way. Three on two developing. Mosian lost by Cole Castle. Skater there. Centering pass for Danielson. Oh, he shot it wide. Good play by Mosian. Good chance by Danielson. Now comes back the other way. That's Reeves. But Danielson controls. Gets it back to Davey. Fans wanted a hook. No call. Oh, maybe there is a call yeah. now. And there's going to be a penalty upcoming. They did get the hook. Yeah, that was clearly a hook. Had him right over the blue line, slowed him down, stopped his progress there. But going back to that, that pass in front of Danielson by Mosey, and he just did all the work there, just chipping it up the boards, using his size, his body, and his incredible ability. Made a great pass across, and of course, McGee came up big on the shot from uh, Thatcher Danielson. Well, it's a Greenwich power play. Mosian and Pelletier Martinelli back in the defensive positions. Kovalev to Mosian. Shoots wide. Eckert now flips it high into the air. And now it's a foot race between Pelletier and Martinelli and Joe Mancini. Martinelli, Pelletier and Martinelli has it now and starts up. Head man to Kovalev. Kovalev at center. Kovalev lugs it in, but Mancini is there and whacks it back out. A minute 34 to go in the Greenwich power play. Skyler Salato called for a hook. Santry, backhands it up to Davey. Davey to Kovalev. Kovalev's in across the Jesuit line, takes it on deep, behind the net, pulls up, but Mancini takes and clears. That was a uh, good effort by Kobe. Kind of got a little bit checked off the puck behind the net there in the effort to make a nice pass. But Belletier Martinelli, big stretch pass to Mosian. Now Mosian again, shot save. Oh, rebound. Kovalev couldn't find the handle. And the puck trickles back out to center. This is Colombo to Mosian, played by Ora Coley. And Cole Castle tries to clear and now does off of Colombo. Puck goes deep. Devin Blanchett goes for it and Colombo. Colombo takes the body and controls. This is Bogger. Not much of a power play so far for the Cardinals. A little sloppy on the breakout. Got 30 seconds left in penalty. Puck goes in deep, but I believe we have an offside or possibly a hand pass there that will bring the face off all the way back into the Cardinal end. 9.18 to go, first period. Cardinals struck first. 
Bogger from Davy. That's a phrase that's familiar. Yeah, absolutely. Seen that many, many, many times. Still 20 seconds to go on the Cardinal power play. Puck deep in the Cardinal zone. This is JT Lawrence. Winds it around. Comes to center. Shoveled back in by Carroll, but taken back by the Cards. Cards looking a little disorganized on this power play. JT Lawrence now dumps it in deep. Prattley will chase it down. Prattley and Connor Boyle. Comes back to the point. Bogger throws one high into the corner. This is Jack Carroll. Colombo keeps in at the point nicely. Taken back by Lawrence. Shot, quick shot by Bogger goes high. And Connor Boyle throws it all the way down. And I think that's going to be an icing. I think he did not realize that the power play had ended. Yep. Early, uh, good sign for Greenwich early on. They had five shots on goal, two, two for prep. Uh, the, the defense of the Cardinals is really clamping down when, we, when they get down in that uh, in the slot area, which is nice to see. Um, they're coming a little bit slow on the breakout, but I think it's starting to click. Puck deep in the prep zone. This is Ryan Eckert, one of the leading scorers for the Jesuits, leaves for Kernigan to center. Puck loose now, taken by Mosian, but Kernigan knocks it backwards behind the net. This is Mancini, nice pass up ahead. Ferracuzio tries to center. No one there. Mosian throws it back behind to get control for Columbo, who winds it up ahead to Thatcher Danielson. Plays it ahead to Davey. Davey flicks it ahead. Big chance now. Cole Castle back. Davey jets by Castle. He shoots. Big save, McGee. And the wow. net went off the mooring. Great play by Matt Davey to get by Cole Castle, Defensive Player of the Year. Big chance there for the Cardinals. They'd love to get the second one. No, no doubt about it. Davey came in, came in there so cool and collected. Oh, we got a replay coming. He comes over the blue line here. Makes a nice little dangle here. And what a save off the forehand. Isaac Cadigan on the draw. Playing with Graves and Prattley. An interesting line here. Played up ahead to Prattley. Prattley to Cadigan. Now Graves has it behind the net. Carter Crawl for Prep. Here comes Oracoli. Oracoli in across the line. Tries to pass, broken, broken up, and comes back the other way as Santry, but can't clear. Oracoli controls for Prep. Shot, he scores, far side. Little trouble clearing there by the Cardinals. Just like that, Kevin Oracoli has tied it up one to one with 7.25 to go in the first. Yeah, a little critical error there. Uh, some bad puck luck perhaps. Uh, probably gonna show it here in a second. Here we go. Yeah, we have right here, Isaac has a little uh, little mishandle. And uh, Oracoli just takes it on himself. Goes uh, glove side up top. Nice goal. A little bit of showmanship there at the end. Back live now, back behind the Greenwich net. Davey flicks it ahead to Kovalev, but Uva comes in to keep it in. Now, Reeves has it, shot paddled over. Big pressure now by the Jesuits. Kovalev plays to center. Plays a little chaotic now along the near boards. Kovalev has to come out and does. And Matt Kernigan controls for prep. Yeah, Greenwich needs to settle down a little bit, maybe slow it down, and uh, retake the pace of play here a little bit. They're, uh, they seem a little disorganized. Breakout's not as smooth as I get to be. Here comes Matt Bogger in across the line. Leaves for Davey shot. Nice save by McGee. That'll do it. Hold. That'll do it. That'll settle you down. A couple quick shots to the net. And I wonder, Jones, if we're seeing a little bit difference, a uh, little bit of a difference in the experience of these two teams. A lot of these guys on Fiat for Prep has, have played in the big game before. This is brand new for Gen, uh, for Greenwich. I think as the game goes on, those nerves will start to calm down. Yeah, I agree. You know, get back to business as usual. They've Lawrence had lots of great chance. chances. Yep. Another big save by McGee, point blank from JT Lawrence. Again, shots on goal, nine for Greenwich and four for Prep. So. 
can't say they're being outplayed right now. It's just a little bit, uh, a little bit bouncy on the ice. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bouncy. Mosian in the corner now, played by Ecker, taken back by Murphy. Danielson throws the body, but Murphy controls over to Cole Castle. Up ahead to Caracuzio. Caracuzio centering pass. Cuts cut goes wide. Behind the net now. Ecker tries to throw it in there, but Danielson has it. And he'll backhand it to center. Taken back by Cole Castle for prep. Oh, taken back for a moment. And now played very loose here in center ice. A lot of bodies being thrown, a lot of energy on the ice, but no one really controlling play. This is Shane Murphy now, who throws it deep, and Fairfield Prep will go for a change. Ollie Fulton, pass picked off. Shot goes high by Oracoli, and now Mosian turns back the other way. Prattley tries to chase it down, hacks at it, gets there before Carroll. Now Connor Boyle is back for it, but he overstates. Cadigan and Prattley battle for it. But here comes Prep back the other way. This is Lanchette trying to gain on Colombo. Colombo staying with him. Lanchette, the big boy. Colombo stays on him. Good work by Colombo. Dumps it back into the corner now behind the net. Prep controlling. Now here comes Prattley back the other way. He's got Graves with a head of steam. Prattley using his speed. Throws to himself, throws the body against Kernigan. Goes to the point. Colombo keeps in. Prattley throws deep. Puck takes an odd bounce in front. But Carroll is there to play back to Kernigan, who plays up to Kroll and now to Mancini. Quick passing by Prep. Here comes Colin Bella. Shot goes wide. Big transition, that's the transition we talked about yeah. from Fairfield Prep, and we'll have an icing upcoming. You know, Greenwich is, uh, they talked a lot yesterday about the uh, just the strength of Fairfield Prep and have their defense and forwards getting it going really quick, getting a counterattack right back at them when the puck gets deep, and uh, I think they're pressuring, pressing just a little bit too hard. Here's a, a great play. Oh, that was Bella, sorry about that. Yeah, great play by Bella. Uva keeps it in at the point. Santry over skates. Bella shot. Big save. Huge save by Nash on Reeves point blank. Great pass there by Colin Bella. But Nash stood tall. Puck off Kovalev State. Now Davy shot. Big save by McGee. Both goaltenders playing tremendously well now. Bogger and Salata battle for it. And now Castle takes back for prep the other way. Centering pass. Puck loose on the near boards. Flings back in behind the prep net. This is Uva, backhands it over to Castle, and he starts up the other way. Devin Bella did not play against Ridgefield, serving a major, and now Kovalev has it, always dangerous. Kovalev splits the defense, shot, big save, McGee, Davey tries to get it, taken down by Castle, no goal. Oh, Bogger fans on the shot in front, and now comes prep back the other way. This is Reeves. Throws it in deep and Prep goes for a change. Yeah, Kobe came in really nice on that. Made a dangle where maybe he could have shot, but almost put, almost worked there. Another chance there by Eckert. Puck thrown behind the Cardinal net. Davey battles with Mancini. Now Eckert. Eckert Mancini. These two are lethal on Fairfield Prep. Throws it in front. Pelletier Martinelli and Ryan Colombo clearing Joe Mancini away from their tender, and that'll get the fans going. A very physical game so far, a lot of bodies being thrown. Yeah. Here we go, Kobe's coming in. He's got a great move here. I need to snap it, just gets it off. You know, boy, he was close to five hole on that. I have to take back what I said. That was a, that was a heck of a move. And then we almost had one followed up by Bogger, just didn't get the handle. Eckert and Lawrence on the draw. Lawrence wins it, gets it back to Ollie Fulton. Fulton behind his own net. Four check both by Mancini and Eckert. Mancini comes away with it. Top of the bottom of the circle. Shot goes wide. Fans thought it was in. Puck goes back now to the point. Castle shot actually gets deflected by Mancini. Santry tries to clear. Can't. Now Mancini, he's always dangerous, throws it in front. And Nash has had enough and he'll cover up. 231 to go. 232 to go. First period. It's one to one. 
Yeah, so far I'm through the whole game. I was about to take care of some of my administrative duties here, Rob, but uh, sorry, sorry for the delay, kids. Uh, we got 232 here. <laughs> yeah. Face off in deep. This is Devin Blanchett, tries to center. Throws it wide now, Thatcher Danielson. Call the crawl battle for it. Puck goes to the point, but trickles through. No icing. And Connor Boyle is back for it. Mojian on the four track check. Leaves for Carroll, but Mojian is there. Mojian, not scared of the corners, comes away with the puck. Now, centering pass here by JT Lawrence broken up, and Prep comes back the other way. Garacuzio up ahead to Blanchett. Watched by Co Colombo. Puck in the corner now. This is JT Lawrence being watched by Quiracuzio. Good four check by the by Fairfield Prep. Danielson throws it back into the corner. Nobody there. Along the near boards, Castle pinches. Mosian tries to help. And Nick Pelletier Martinelli will come away with the puck finally. 125 to go in the first. Oh, a big pass. To Mosian, and DB pulls up, shot, save by McGee. What a great backhand flip pass. Is that Danielson that did that? I couldn't tell who that was on the far side, but a yeah. big, a big lob backhand pass found Mosian on the stretch, and he came in with a big opportunity. I want to say that was shoveled forward here. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, right at, right on the tape, right at the feet, pulling back. And, ah, wow, another just, he just closing up that five hole. Heck of a play by Mosian. Puck goes to the point. Bogger plays it back to Santry. And now here comes Prep with an opportunity. Two on one. This is Reeves. Reeves for Solano shot. Back to Reeves. Goes wide and Greenwich manages to clear. Big opportunity there. It's one to one with under a minute to go. Puck deep now in the Prep zone. Comes back now to Reeves at center ice with a head of steam. Watched by Santry. Santry, great poke check. Breaks, breaks, up, breaks that up, excuse me. Goes back into the corner. And Bella has it. Takes a body from Fulton. Kovalev controls for the Cardinals. 37 to go in the period. Centering pass. Goes off of Bogger's stick and Jack Carroll's stick and goes up into the crowd. And we'll have a face off. You know, that scoring chance by. Uh uh, Fairfield Prep just prior to that uh, with the two on one Kobe came all the way back from the far blue line and made a phenomenal back check and uh, got a stick right underneath really nice play here comes Davey throws it in deep 30 to go first period at SEAC final 1-1 Pelletier Martinelli misses here comes Eckert Eckert shot goes wide and now here comes Bogger with 16 on the clock Bogger, big shot, partially deflected by Castle. Puck in the corner now. Davey bouncing, waits for it to land, throws it back around. Six on the clock. Bogger takes a shot, gloved down. Oh, another chance by Kovalev on the rebound. Jack McGee blocked it with the glove, but it popped right down on Kobe's stick. But once again, McGee was there. We have a second and a half left to go in the first period. Face off in deep. Good. I like Bogger shooting at the net. That's what you got to do. He's got a heavy shot, needs to use it as much as possible. Motion and Eckert on the draw. And that will do it for the first period here wow. at the Ingles. It's one to one. Very fast paced, physical action here in the first period by these two teams. Jonesy, what's your analysis? Who had the better of play? It's 13 9 shots on goal, but. It felt to me like Fairfield Prep may have had a few more opportunities. Yeah, they did. I think they had, they had, overall they had the better opportunities. I think that's really what it boiled down to. They're breaking the puck out much more cleanly. Um, and Greenwich is getting a little bit of, uh, a bit of scramble at times, um, which is not like their game. Um, they need to settle down a little bit more, work the counterattack, work the breakout. Um, they, they, but the, however, going back <laughs> to contradict myself, the shots in their end have been excellent. Uh, Mosian's charging hard to the net. We got Davey and Bogger working well. We got Kobe doing a great job playing a good end-to-end -end game. So uh, 
you know, there's there's been some great moments. Nasher's been solid. McGee's been solid on the other end. So uh, it's not surprising we're at a 1-1 game here. Um, Greenwich did have a lot of jump in their set when they came right out. Uh, interesting thing uh, I was noticing after both goals, these teams are very quick to both get up to the line for the puck drop. Uh, a, a sign of a very well, well trained, well coached team. You're just like, let's get on with it. We're going to take a break here for one of our big sponsors, Houlihan Lawrence. Let's see what they're trying to sell. We'll be back between the first and second here at the Ingalls Rink. 1 1, Greenwich and Prep. Welcome back to the Ingalls Arena or rink, but this is not necessarily Cardinal Country today like the Hamill. Not it's, yet. It's half Cardinal Country, yeah. but half Jesuit Country as well. This no is as exciting as boys hockey gets in the state of Connecticut. This place is packed. And Jonesy, uh, let's go over the scoring. Yeah, we started off uh, in the first period, first goal of the game fairly early on. We had a, a beautiful goal by Bogger on a great, uh, great play, great assist by Davey. Uh, wasn't long before uh, Fairfield Prep came back. Yeah. Kevin Oracoli um, uh, came in uh, unassisted, scored a nice top uh, top corner over the glove goal. Uh, it, it, sort of a little bit of puck luck. Uh, the puck kind of was cleared out on a loft. Uh, Cadigan couldn't quite handle it and it just bounced off his stick right to Oracoli, and he just ripped one. Uh, really nice goal. Take nothing away from any anything there. But uh, we're here. We are one one at the end of end of one. Uh, we got. For a game that's been played fairly evenly, I think. Shots on goal, 13 for Greenwich, 9 for Fairfield Prep. Uh, and I think uh, we're going to see a lot of more of the same throughout. It's going to be interesting to see which team is going to settle down first, I think. I think neither of these teams thought that this would be easy today. Yes, no, no one knew. No one ever thought they were going to be walking through. You know, uh, this, is, this was never going to be a, a 6-1 game, although let's see. You never know. It's right. high school hockey. Absolutely. But this is about what we and everybody expected. This is end-to-end. -end. It's physical. And as you're saying, I do believe that Fairfield Prep has a little bit more experience in yeah. this type of game. These kids have played in the state final uh, two years ago. They went to the state final, I think, and lost. Or was it last year? Well, two years ago, I believe, right? Uh, but interestingly, Cole Castle, their defender in an interview, said that they're expected to win. They, they, for some of these seniors have been here for four years and right. they have not won a state championship in four years. And right. what he said in the interview I thought was very interesting is they don't want to get through their four years without winning a state championship. Right. Granite, on the other hand, has not won in 25 years, so it's a little bit of a different expectation. Maybe that is extra pressure on the Jesuits trying yeah. not to lose right. rather than wanting to win absolutely of course they want to win too but i, I just think there's there's an expectation uh, that in some ways maybe helps and in some way maybe add some extra pressure for the jesuits yeah i, I think that's a, a perfect insight you, you never know you never want to be on the side that's pressing too hard um, that generally doesn't work um, not saying that other team is pressing right now but um, it's, it's going to be interesting as the game winds on what uh, how each team's going to handle it uh, I think Greenwich just really just needs to settle down on the counterattack a little bit. They, they're, they're throwing the puck away a little bit. Passes, I mean, they're probably a little bit excited. Passes are going just past sticks, not quite getting there. They're clearing out um, up the middle rather than up the boards, doing just some, some minor things. Um, Fairfield Prep is, is coming back counterattacking off of all the shots that the, the, the Cardinals are taking, uh, which is great. Defense is uh, standing them up, but uh, it's been quite, quite exciting hockey and and. And this is exactly what you expect from number one and number two in the state. Yeah, that transition game of the Jesuits is very tough. They connect yes. their passes really well. They get up the ice very quickly. We saw a few of those. Uh, Castle is very strong back there with the, you know, to all those guys up front, Eckert and yep. Mancini, of course, yep. uh, Kroll, uh, Bella. There's a lot of guys with a lot of firepower. Ben Nash has played terrifically in the first period so far, stopped a lot. But I do think that if uh, the cards make mistakes, 
it's going to hurt them. Yeah. They've got to, they've got to, they, they, they just can't make mistakes in their own end because these guys will make you pay. Right, exactly. This is a very quick game out there, which, you know, they're used to that, but um, both teams need to capitalize on any anything they get because it, it is, uh, if this continues like this, there's not going to be a ton of chances to score goals. Shots on goal, perhaps. Well, the players have taken the ice. It is 1-1. We're between periods one and two. And I think now it is appropriate, Jonesy, to mention that the added factor today might be the double Windsor. Once oh. again, and I know I said in the earlier broadcast that if they made it to the finals, I would go with the, the triple Windsor. Right. I tried the triple Windsor, and apparently it's against the law in the state of Connecticut. I yeah. did not realize that. I finished it up, two security guards were in there. Right. And they said, no, that's one Windsor too many. Yeah, I think you gotta be careful on the Windsor. All right, we're wrapping we're up. We're getting ready for the puck drop, and here. <laughs> I think we have to address the Windsor yeah, between we'll the second and third. Yeah, we'll deal with this later. Second period. Here we go. <laughs> here <laughs> we go. if we just talked about the whole second period. Right, we just exactly. talked about my tie. All right. Here we go. Face off at center. Danielson bats it down. Kernigan and Mojian go for it. Kernigan controls, taken back, but J.T. Lawrence hammers it back in. Puck along the near board, center ice. Laura Coley, he's your goal scorer, scorer. Now Moshe on top of the circle. Shot. Nice save, McGee. Puck into the corner. This is Castle. Winds it ahead. And now Devin Blanchett controls. But Colombo is back for it. Good defensive play by Colombo. JT Lawrence actually tripped over the official there, and the puck trickled up to Nash, yeah, and he'll hold a, for the faceoff. Well, luckily, that didn't turn into something tragic. Early going, second period, 1-1. This is the SEAC Finals, Division One. Davey on the draw, taken by Bella. Bella tries to wrap around, puck loose, no goal. The ref has said no goal. That was off. He whistled it down, but Salato had put it in, but very clearly and very early, the ref said no goal. Fans yeah, don't like it on the this. Fairfield prep I think, side. I think the actual, the, the, the wraparound attempt, let's take a quick look at it. The wraparound attempt here actually knocks the net Ladies off. The referee has ruled no goal on the play. The yeah. No, no question. No question. That was off right away. The ref was right on top of it. Davy and Solano on the draw. Reeves now controlling. Takes it behind the net. Throws in front, shot broken up nicely by Santry. Carroll whacks it ahead from the blue line, doesn't get there. Fulton banks it to center. Reeves spins away from Davey. Puck along the near board, center ice. Salato takes it in, Skylar Salato. Shot, glove the side. Behind the net now is Santry. And Davey winds it back to the point. Nash, uh, Nash has lost his stick. Santry gives it back to him, and now Davey is in across the line. Davey takes it in deep, takes a body from Jack Carroll, and Bella comes back the other way, but it's thrown back behind the Fairfield net. This is Connor Boyle. Connor Boyle, head man for Reeves. Puck trickles in, and Bogger bangs it back in. Boyle over skate, centering pass, chance for Kovalev, spins, but broken up by Fairfield Prep. This is Pelletier Martinelli at the corner, throws it, down behind the net, now back to the point. Pelletier Martinelli can't keep it in and has to regroup. Cross ice, saucer pass to Colombo. Colombo tries to control, but whacked ahead. Good play by Pelletier Martinelli to slow things down, but Ecker controls top of the circle. Shot broken up by Pelletier Martinelli, and the cards come back the other way. This is Kovalev. Oh, good check by Castle. Fans like that. Good clean body check. And we have an icing call, and the puck will come all the way down. Let's see if we can take another look at that. Yeah, the check was good, pretty clean. However, the uh, the aftermath seemed like a little bit of a holding to me, but I might be looking for some home cooking. It's Graves on the draw now with Cadigan and Prattley against Eckert, Mancini. Puck to center. 
This is Mancini. Mancini's in. Centering pass for Ecker. Great play by Santry. Shot by Coracuzio. And somehow, somehow, Ben Nash managed to save it from the ice. What a wow. tremendous save by Ben Nash to keep this game one to one. I was looking down on the ice, looking for the ref to give it the goal sign. Here it comes. Who would, that's Ecker. That's a, that's a great, uh, yeah, great play there. Oh, big chance there for Cluracusio. He just couldn't you know, lift the puck up Pratt, over the outstretched yeah, arm. Yeah, Prattley had a great back check on that. That's what I was sort of staring at. Uh, really nice back check. Came out and really broke that play up. Lawrence gets removed from the faceoff, and Danielson takes it, wins it back to Santry. Tries to wind it along the boards, but Mancini is there. Puck deep in the cardinal end, along the near boards. This is Mancini, backhands it to Eckert, but too far for him. Colombo plays it up to Mosian. Cole Castle controlling now for Fairfield Prep. Banks it ahead, up to Mancini. Mancini watched by Martinelli. Great defensive play by Pelletier Martinelli to stand him up. Puck comes back to center. Cole Castles in across the Cardinal line. Slap shot goes wide. Puck goes back into center now. Jack Carroll banks it ahead, but Lawrence is there. Puck loose along the near boards. And an offsides. Yeah, it looked like uh, Mosey didn't get back quite on time there. I don't know, a lot of excitement here. Early on with the goal, they got called back. Man. This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Davey and Oracoli on the draw. Puck loose at center. Taken now by Davey. He's in across the line. Tries a little toe drag. Puck goes into the corner. Kovalev cuts back. Now Davey controls. Davey to the point to Fulton. Shot doesn't get there. And Prep comes back the other way. This is Carter Kroll. He's in across the line. Watched by Stantry. Throws it up to Clericuzio. Puck back to him, but now the cards come back the other way. This is Bogger. Bogger throws a long shot wide. And Carter Kroll takes for Prep. Carter Kroll to center. Big hit by Davey. Puck loose to Colombo. Cross ice to Pelletier Martinelli. Back to Colombo. Back to Pelletier Martinelli. We've seen this a lot. The, East-West passing of the defense of the Cardinals. This is Kovalev now, checked from behind by Salata. Watched by Uva, centering pass, but Kernigan is there to break it up. Top of the circle, Bogger fans on the one-timer. A nice pass from Pelletier Martinelli, and here come Prep back the other way. Salato watched by Pelletier Martinelli. Centering pass for Reeves off his skate, goes into the corner. Pelletier Martinelli plays the body, leaves the puck. Puck comes back around now to Castle, who's pinching. Throws it back to the point, kept in by Bella, or not, they had to tag up, and now the Cardinals control. Pelletier Martinelli, stretch pass to Davey, he takes it in, comes to the top of the circle, throws one on, saved by McGee, puck goes into the corner. This is Murphy, Murphy battling with Bogger. Bogger comes away with it, now Salado banks it up ahead to Reeves, can't control, and Bogger slaps it back in deep. Graves tags up and on the forecheck. Puck goes to center. Off Reeves' skate. Fulton flicks it away. Prattley now touches it. And it's end to end here. No one really controlling play. Puck flicks up high in the air now. Cadigan bangs for it. Santry knocks it down along the near boards. Puck goes back behind Fairfield Prep's end. Cole Castle tries to clear and can't. And it's shoveled back ahead. Yeah, Greenwich is still offside. Have to tag up. There we go. Puck to center now. Ollie Fulton back for it. Cross ice. Peltier Martinelli one times it back to center. Cole Castle tries to throw it on, but can't get it through Mosian. And Peltier Martinelli controls for the cards. There's an opportunity now. Mosian coming. There's only Shane Murphy back. Mosian top of the circle. Shot. And it flicks up out of play, and we'll wow. have a face-off yep. upcoming. And that started in the defensive zone with a good play by Mosian to uh, chip that puck past the defender. And then he had some room. He had, a, he had the whole neutral zone to skate through. And uh, gets off a shot. Just got, just got picked up by the defender at the very last minute. 
8.55 to go, second period, 1-1. Greenwich scored first, Prep came back and tied it. This is Devin Blanchett to the circle. Good play by Colombo. Pelletier Martinelli, puck cuts back. Shot just wide by Blanchett. Big chance there for Prep. And Colombo controls now, banks it off the glass to center, Flo slows things down. Carroll throws one just wide, and Colombo will control for the Cardinals. Banks it to Mosian, who flicks it into the Fairfield Prep. And, and this is Connor Boyle controlling for the Jesuits. Banks it ahead. Ends up on crawl stick. He's in across the line. Backhand pass to Clara Cusio. Good poke check. And now Mosin comes back the other way. Watched by Blanchett and Uva. But still somehow Mosin gets it over to Danielson. Danielson plays it in deep to Bogger. Shoot! He scores! Bogger! From Mosian and Danielson on an odd angle gets it past Jack McGee and the Greenwich Cardinals are up two to one with 7.57 to go in the second period. Wow, that was an incredible play. It all started with a batch of Danielson. Let's see if we have that. I'm sure we do. Incredible, here we go. This is Mosian first yeah, with Mosey three guys on him. Great, great four check in there. Gets it over, sends it down to Thatcher. I'm sorry, send it down to Bogger from Thatcher, and boy, he just poked, just drilled that far corner, top shelf, where Mama keeps the peanut butter. <laughs> Here comes Bella back the other way. Fairfield Prep would like to get this thing back right away if they can. Very, very odd angle. Just found, I think he found the short side. We'll take another look at it, yeah, but it was tough. Right. Here comes Bella in deep now for Fairfield Prep. Centering pass, Davey back the other way. Has Kovalev on the far side, but shoots it in. Off McGee, and Kovalev controls behind the Prep net. Centering pass, Bogger shot, save McGee! Huge save! Great pass to Bogger. Puck now, Fulton controls at the point, has to backhand it in, and Kernigan takes back for Fairfield Prep. Kernigan, head man now, Reeves, three on two developing. Reeves shot, paddled down by Nash, taken back by Fairfield Prep, but Kovalev. Puck ends up on Ollie Fulton's stick, plays it up ahead, and flicked all the way down. Boy, oh boy, you cannot say enough about Matt Barger and his ability to score the puck. Puck goes down, icing waved off. Colombo winds it around, but Reeves is there, back to the point. Shot wide behind the Cardinal net. Mancini and Eckert, these two play well together. Now Graves comes away with it to Prattley, another two that play well together. Puck goes back behind the Cardinal net. Colombo controls, loses it, and ends up in Nash's pads and will have a faceoff with 6.16 to go, second period. And this is where we need to mention that if you have packages, groceries, or those keys you forgot, stuff's got to get where it needs to be, Jonesy. It sure does. With the Point Pickup app, businesses or individuals can schedule deliveries, and our drivers can keep busy while receiving extra income. Back to the action now. Puck behind the Cardinal net in the corner now on the near boards. This is Danielson. Throws it behind Mosian, and Castle bangs it back to center. Taken by Fulton, nice play to Santry, to Danielson. Good control now by the Cardinals. Thatcher Danielson having a heck of a game so far. Santry throws it in all the way behind the Jesuit net, and this is Cole Castle, flips it up ahead. Big shot by Ora Coley, that's your goal scorer. Buck goes to center, this is Shane Murphy. Banks it up ahead, too far, but Colombo takes it. East-West to Fulton, back to Colombo. Plays to center to Danielson, great pass. Left now by Mosey into Lawrence shot. And some nice counter attack of their own. And Shane Murphy and Alex Mosey, once again, discussing which classes they like better at their yeah. respective high schools. I wonder if they're taking advanced bio. I, I don't know yeah, if that that's, was the that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that was the question. That's probably what they're talking about. You're taking advanced bio, I like yeah. it. <laughs> I like it, how about you? I prefer <laughs> physics. It's gonna be Davey and Solano on the draw. 
Salado wins it, gets it back to Evan Uva, who starts up. Uva banks it up ahead to Bella. Bella's in across the Cardinal zone, top of the circle, still Bella. Centering pass, big chance there for Solano, but he couldn't get good one on it. Kovalev manages to get it out of the zone. Nice back check by Kobe there once again. Really playing a complete game today. Colombo cross ice to Pelletier Martinelli. He gets it up ahead to Kovalev. Kovalev, big move in, Kovalev! Just can't find the handle to get the shot, but boy is he dangerous. Shot from the top of the circle, McGee is there. Puck goes into the corner, Kernigan winds it around, but no one's there for prep, and Colombo keeps back in. Centering pass, McGee gets a pad on it. Good pressure by Greenwich now. Davey can't control, and Kernigan takes back for Fairfield prep, and they'll start back up. Kernigan to center. Kernigan along the near boards. Bogger rides him off the puck, and the puck ends up deep behind the Cardinal net. Wow. That was a heck of a play there. This is Colombo. Throws to the corner. Pelletier Martinelli battling with Eckert. Puck still in the corner. This is Eckert. Gets it back to the point. Shot doesn't get there. And here comes the Cardinals back the other way. This is Bogger in across. Leaves for Kovalev. Puck goes in front, and now back to center. This is Santry, cross ice to Fulton, who throws on in deep. McGee lost his stick temporarily, but regains it. Center ice, pass goes awry by Anthony Claracuzio, and we'll have an icing. Woo! End to end, Jonesy. This period has flown by, 3.39 to go. Greenwich up two to one. And this is all we could have hoped for. This is exactly, this is championship quality hockey. The caliber of these players is just tremendous. Graves on the draw, or Coley wins it. Throws it up ahead. Puck bouncing now dangerously. Blanchett goes for it and hits Nash, who's down, no call. He gets back up. Fans reacting to that. Now Puck behind the net. Nash lost his stick, but gets it back. This is Uva in deep behind the net. Santry winds it back to the corner, but not out. Puck in the corner now, and Fulton whacks it ahead and finally clears the zone. Well, I guess that was an incidental contact there with Nasher, but boy, he got tripped down pretty hard. Great hustle to get back, lost his stick. Big body by Proutley there. Looks for Colombo at the point. Off Blanchette's skate to Pelletier Martinelli, and now Mosian controls. Things getting very physical out here. Oh. And we got a penalty now against the Cardinals. I think we've got a trip coming up here on Proutley. And a big opportunity now for the Jesuits yeah, he, to try to the equalizer. He's, he's talking it over with the ref here. He just got a piece of him. And uh, he kind of got his leg out there a little bit. And knee oh. on knee. Yeah, that, they're always going to call that. That's dangerous play. That looked like a hip to me, but let's. Yeah. Well, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for sure. I think the hip was the intention. Prattley's a physical player for a, not a guy that's huge in size, exactly. but he's got oh, a huge heart. He plays big. Puck cleared by the Cardinals, back to center. Big power play chance now for the Jesuits. They'd love to get the equalizer. Here comes Eckert, Ryan Eckert. Cross ice to Bella. They've got their big guns on the ice here. Bella tries to go low, but Pelletier Martinelli is there. Reeves stopped him for a second. Nice play by Eckert to keep in at the point. Puck goes deep now to Salata. Salato down to Reeves. Centering pass, Salato broken up. Oh, Bella shot it wide. Unbelievable. And Mosian controls for the Cardinals and manages to clear. And Kovalev and Kernigan are in a race for it, and Kovalev gets there first. Nice Kobe, job by Kovey. Kovey keeping it deep. Oh, looking for a centering pass for Davey. And as you know, if you've watched the Cardinals, they are no stranger to shorthanded goals. One Absolutely. minute to go in the power play. Salado broken up by Santry, and Kovalev will flick it all the way down. Yeah, the, the attack that Greenwich has, uh, they have some speedy skaters. Usually it's Mosey and, and, Kov and Kovey. Dov <laughs> Davey got there first. Yep, now we have Davey and uh, JT out there, another speedy pair. 
that is no stranger to scoring shorthand goals. Fairfield Prep trying, finally controlling now. Broken up nicely by Davey, keeping Prep at center. Bella and Santry battle along the near boards. Puck comes back to the point, but nobody there, and Prep will have to regroup. 20 on the power play. This is Cole Castle, defenseman of the year. Throws it behind the Greenwich net, gets it in deep. One minute to go in the period, 11 seconds on the power play. JT Lawrence battles, Prep controls now, taken back by Fulton, and Fulton clears. That was a, that was a heck of a kill. One, um, one of the best I've seen all year. Absolutely stellar play, boys. 42 to go in the period. Bogger and Castle battle for it. Tough play along the blue line. Mosian and Castle slaps one behind the Greenwich net. 30 to go in the period. Colombo banks it along the boards to Mosian, who flicks to center, but Prep controls. Now taken back by Bogger, a little too far, almost a chance there. Ora Coley comes back the other way. He's your goal scorer for Prep. Comes, takes it down low, throws it in front for Blanchett, but he can't connect, and Kovalev comes back the other way. Seven seconds to go. This is a chance now for Mojian. Here comes Bobby, he shoots! I think it hit the post! Oh, I think it hit the crossbar! I don't know. A couple guys thought it was we, in. I think we got to take a look at that if they if they can. I think that hit the middle stand. Yeah, I can't believe it. He thought it was I, in as well. I, I, I saw it that way too. I don't know about you, Rob. I couldn't quite tell, to be honest with you, from this angle. I couldn't tell if it was crossbar. Here comes the replay. Let's look at it closely. Puck comes back. Shot. It looks like crossbar, I think, right? That was Bogger on the shot. I don't know. Uh, Mosian thought it was in. Yeah, he's, get, he's talking it over. The refs are chatting. There's no replays here, but that looked like... Tough to tell, that, but... That looked like it was in, but uh, like you said, the, the, we didn't have the classic giant clang of the crossbar just because that was such a hard shot. Uh, and it came out in a funny angle. Of course, none of this stuff can be, uh, you know, you, you, they're not going to replay it. I thought it hit the white middle post uh, at the very, very top of the net and popped back out, but no goal. Move on. Greenwich up 2-1. to 2-1, to one, out shooting. Fairfield Prep 21 to 14, but Prep has had their opportunities. I think if they look back at that period, that outstretched save by Ben Nash, where he was completely on the ice. Yeah. Uh, that was an amazing, amazing save. You know, what's great about today, Jonesy, is that all of Greenwich Hockey Royalty is here. I just had a man, I'm not gonna say his name, just walk by the booth and just give me a very gentle squeeze on my buttocks. That guy? Yeah, that guy. We know that guy. Yeah, Marty Walsh. Marty Walsh. I'm not going to say his name, but his name is Marty Walsh. Is just Walsh? give me a gentle squeeze on the buttocks. Is Walsh Irish? <laughs> I wonder where he's been. It, interestingly, by the way, the squeeze on the buttocks, that's one of the perks that Boyer is fighting for for his contract. Oh, I know. And he's not getting it. They're, you know, they're getting he, close on the money. The problem with him is he expects it to be written in the contract, yes. whereas you and I, right, that's, just, just, that's we, just part of the gig. Yeah, we just we know it's going to happen, I mean, and we just, we just enjoy it. <laughs> so it was Bogger again getting the goal, so it's two for Bogger on the day. Unbelievable. And uh, we're going to take a break here in between periods two and three we've got 15 minutes of hockey to go and we will be back momentarily after a word from our sponsors back between periods two and three here at the Yale Whale where the Greenwich Cardinals are leading the Fairfield Prep Jesuits two to one in the division one men's high school hockey final. Uh, Jonesy, you and I just spent the last 10 minutes of this period <laughs> looking at computers and slow-mo of that thing that either hit the post or went in. Yeah. What's your call? I don't know. It, it looked fairly conclusive over there. Actually, I can't even say that. It was inconclusive, I think. From my vantage point, I thought it hit the back bar, the middle bar, 
came at right at the very top and came right down. It's tough to see because when you but, watch it in slow-mo and, and they blew it up, yeah. what you see is you see the puck against the white. So it looks like the puck is in the goal, but you can't tell the you depth. You can't tell. So that, that's, it hit that, something. Yeah. It could either be the crossbar, but the way it bounces out with such force, it feels like the crossbar. The one thing we right, will say right, is that exactly. the ref was in perfect position yeah, to he make was. the call. Yeah, he was. And I think that the, the person who had the best view was the ref and Alex Mosian. Although uh, Alex Mosian thought so, it was in. It so looked like he reacted. He, he reacted, yeah. I don't know if he was trying to sell it, as we all yeah. would. But, um, but, but, I, but I the know. one thing we know is that it does not matter because it does not it's matter. two to right, one. Right. They're not rerunning it. Exactly. They're not looking it over. Yeah. So in or out, that will be a conversation for, for years to come. Yeah. But right now, there's 15 minutes of hockey to play, and the Greenwich Cardinals are trying to end this 25-year drought, and Prep is trying to get back into it. We'll be back with the puck drop in just a moment. back for the start of period three. Cardinals leading two to one. The Fairfield prep crowd waving their white lights. Is that iPhones? I don't know what that is, but we are underway. 15 minutes away from crowning a champion. Puck in the Cardinal zone. Danielson battles with Blanchette. Puck comes to center, two on one developing now. This is JT Lawrence to Mosian. Mosian, shot, save, rebound, Mosian! No goal! Oh my gosh, that was close as wow. it gets. I stopped the call because I thought that thing might have gone in. But I'm with you too. Mosian took I thought the it was, shot. Yeah, I thought it was in two for sure. Followed his rerun. Here comes the replay. Yeah, yeah, Let's take a job. close look at this. It's a nice pass from JT. Great shot, rebound. He gets his own rebound and puts it up hits and over. Hits the post. Ah, hits the post. It hit the Jack post. Jack McKee was all the way over, lost his stick. That's another no goal. Wow, big chance there for Greenwich. A goal yep. here would be huge. The next goal in this one is as big as it gets. Absolutely. Very uh, very nice poised play by Mosey and two after getting his own rebound. Lawrence controlling, centering pass for Danielson, but now Reeves comes back the other way. Reeves played by Pelletier and Martinelli. Good defensive play by Pelletier and Martinelli. Gets a stick on it, and the puck ends up in Nash's glove, and we'll have a face off deep in the Greenwich end. You know, the D's having a heck of a game. Pelly in particular, uh, using that long reach and that big body. He's not letting much around, uh, but I could say that for Santry, Colombo, and, uh, and Fulton as well. Everyone's playing really tight, really well. Solato and Davey on the draw. Puck to the point. Connor Boyle takes a shot that goes high. Bogger. Tips it to Santry, he tries to clear, but Reeves keeps it in with his skate, bangs it to himself. Now Santry, controlling behind the net, throws back, Reeves blocks that one down, flips over to Salato, but Fulton is there. Fulton banks it ahead to Kovalev, puck goes to center, and Connor Boyle throws it back in to the granite zone. Early going, third period. This is Kovalev, into the, in across the line, shoots wide, puck comes back to the center, and Colombo has to chase it down. No icing, as that was Kovalev's shot. Oh, puck comes off the ref, comes in center. That was a little dangerous there. Kovalev controls now and gets it in deep. Davey on the forecheck, does his job, and the puck goes to Bogger. But Mancini takes back for Fairfield Prep. Head man to Clericuzio. Puck goes back to center. Glove down now by Pelletier Martinelli, who slows things down for the cards. Cross ice to Colombo. Centering pass. Davey gets it back to center ice. And Eckert, one of the captains, takes it for Fairfield Prep, tries to get in, but surrounded by Cardinals, and Colombo throws back to center. Blanchette controlling. Checked hard by Graves. Forces him to lose the puck. Puck banks up ahead now, and Davey with a head of steam. Watched by Castle. He's on the off wing. Davey. Takes it, loses his edge, and Fairfield Prep comes back the other way. Carter Crawl along the near boards. 
Puck goes into the corner. Bogger backhands to Davey. Centering pass for Graves. Big shot, big save. Great play by the Cardinals there. Blanchett now comes back the other way. Finds Kroll. He's a goal scorer. Shot, score! Kevin Olicoli centering pass, and this game is tied. 12.29 to go. Great pass. Great counterattack yep. by Fairfield Prep, and they have tied it. You called that one, Rob Oracoli, once again. Beautiful pass from Devin. Let's see, uh, from Devin Blanchett. Let's see, uh, watch this on the replay. Yeah, here we go. Nice break out here. That's Crawl. That's Crawl. Oh, it's actually Crawl. There you go. Crawl on the one timer over to Ora Kelly. Beautiful shot. And they tied it. Beautiful shot. I mean, that's uh, that's how you that's how it's done, people. Puck in the There's the announcement. Kevin Ora Kevin Ora has two. Matt Bogger has two. Alex Mosian now. Good stick check by Salado. Goes into the corner, but Fulton pinches along the near boards. Puck comes back to center. This is Pelletier Martinelli. Watched by Bella. Throws to Fulton. Cross ice to Danielson. Danielson. Wax it into the Jesuit end. Puck winds around and Mosian is there. Mosian controlling, but now Salado comes in. Colombo pinches. Jack Carroll tries to skate it out and still controls. Carroll to center. Cross ice to Reeves. Takes it into the Cardinal line. Puck goes into the corner now. This is Bella. Bella controlling for prep. Bella top of the circle. Back to the point to Uva. Shot and a deflection. He scores. Not sure if that went straight in or maybe Cloacuzio tipped it. It was Evan Uva from the point, but I think Anthony Cloacuzio might have tipped it. We'll have to see the replay. Not sure who gets the credit. Uva is acting as if he's the one that got it. It could be. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the replay. Yeah, here it comes. There's Uva. Nice slapper. It definitely deflected off of someone. Hit something in front. Clearly Nash was moving the other way, and Prep has their first lead of the day, three to two. We'll have to see how the Cardinals respond. Davey takes it in. Doesn't get there. Bonger tries to throw on him. Puck goes into the corner. Kovalev now controls to Davey. Puck behind the Prep net. Castle winds it around, kept in by Santry momentarily, but Eckert takes it back for prep. Yep, they gave it to Uva. There's the announcement. It's Uva from Bella, and it's a 3-2 prep lead. We'll see how the Cardinals can respond here. Here comes Kovalev in across the line, top of the circle. Good back check by Connor Boyle, breaks that up. Puck goes into the corner. Pelletier Martinelli pinches in deep now. Watch by Boyle. Pelletier Martinelli comes away with it. Nice play by him. Centering pass for Kovalev's shot, broken up by Mancini. Kovalev at center ice along the far boards. Puck still loose there. Now Bogger takes. Bogger shot, glove down. And Mosian whacks at the rebound, and Fairfield Prep takes an exception to that. But it is three to two with 10 minutes to go here in the third. Yeah, I don't know if he uh, squeezed that one in. That's why uh, Alex gave a, gave a crack at it. Of course, Billy doesn't like that. That was one heck of a goal, though. It scored on a nice slapper. And uh, now it's time, uh, by Uba, I'm sorry. Uh, now it's time for Greenwich to start to stay within their game. And, uh, and really get to, uh, get to the fundamentals and not get not pressed too much. Just give me another ice on. Well, the Cardinals are a team that can score, so they don't panic when they get down because they've got a lot of firepower. They're a much more of an offensive team than a, def than a defensive team. They've got a lot of guys on the ice that can put the puck in the net. They sure do. Three of those guys are on the ice up front right now. Uh, it's Mosian, JT Lawrence, and Thatcher Danielson for the Cardinals with Pelletier, Martinelli, and Colombo back. Pelletier Martinelli throws it back in, but the cards are off sides. And we'll have a face-off 
with 9.52 to go. Third period, this is the Connecticut State Championship, Division One, winner take all. Now one of the keys for the Cardinals, I think, is maintain discipline, which is hard when you're, when you're pressing and get behind. Um, they just gotta keep playing their game. They're playing a heck of a game. They gotta pick up from where they left off in the second period, and they'll be right back in this thing. Santry back for it, checked by Oracoli. Puck in the corner, comes back out now. Here comes Mojian. Mojian, good hip check by Cole Castle. And Castle comes away with it now. Nice, great pass to Oracoli. Oracoli has two on the day, watched by Santry. Good defensive play there, breaks that up. They're taken back by Bella, throws it on to the point. Saved by Nash, dangerous rebound. Preps flying now, this is Reeves. Fulton throws a body, but doesn't slow him down. Centering pass, no one there, but Danielson. Puck comes back to center, but flipped into the stands by senior Cole Castle, and we'll have a face-off with 9.03 to go. Prep leading now for the first time, 3-2. to two. A Look at the Greenwich fans here, some concern on the faces but there's still plenty of hockey to play here. This is Graves, yep. Cadigan, and Prattley up front now for the Cardinals. Salato, Reeves, and Bella up front for the Jesuits. Puck into the Jesuit zone. That's overskated by Bella, and Prattley digs for it, but Carroll throws it around to Bella, flips it up ahead, kept in at the point by Colombo, taken back by Bella. Bella into the Cardinals zone, tries to get around Colombo, tries to take it around the net. This is still Bella, flicks back to Reeves. Reeves back to Bella, but over skates. Puck trickles back to the neutral zone. Pelletier Martinelli takes it now, top of the circle, throws it around, winds back to Prattley on the near side, throws deep to Davey. Bogger shot in front, big chance for Prattley on the deflection. Can't quite connect. Colombo backhands it to Pelletier Martinelli. Behind the Cardinals net now. Eckert loses his edge. And here comes Bogger the other way. Good play by Mancini to slow him down. Two number 14s battling for it. And now Bogger comes away with it. Here comes Bogger, he takes it to the far side and across the line. Tries to toe drag around Uva, doesn't really get there. And Eckert plays up ahead to Claire Cusio. Puck goes to center, and Kovalev will flick it high back into the Jesuit zone. Uva, cross ice to Castle. Great pass for Eckert, but a good defensive play by Santry breaks that up. Had a stretch pass to Eckert, but Eckert was, had his back to the net and couldn't quite turn and spin fast enough, and Santry was there. Good end-to-end -end action here. Seven minutes to go. Here comes Davey for the Cardinals. Tries to get around Oracoli. Long shot from center ice. Carter Crawl and Kovalev battle. Here comes Davey now. Loses the handle. Shot, nice save, Nash. Dangerous. Kept in. Carter Crawl shot. Now comes Blanchett, and here comes Kovalev back the other way. Kovalev to center. He's watched by Jack Carroll. Kovalev, nice move. Shot, big save by McGee. Puck goes to the corner. Colombo takes a slapper, but it knuckles over the net. Now Mojian along the near side. Centering pass. Cleared by Boyle. Kovalev tries to shoot. It's blocked, and the puck goes back to the neutral zone. This is Pelletier Martinelli back to Colombo. Saucer the pass up to Kovalev, but too far, and it comes back the other way. This is Bella at center. He's in across the Cardinal line. Good defensive play by Colombo, breaks that up, and Puck comes back the other way for Lawrence to Bogger. Bogger at center, he's in across the line. Shot, broken up by Castle, behind the net. This is Bogger. Centering pass from Mosian, can't connect. Pelletier Martinelli controls, top of the circle. Throws it behind the net to Mosian. Throws it out in front, and now, Prep comes back the other way. This is Reeves. He's got Bella with him. Reeves cuts, leaves for Salado, but taken back by JT Lawrence. 
Banks it ahead to Mojian. Mojian, he's got Lawrence in front. He's go! Oh, just misses on the two on one. Back to Danielson. And the net, I think, is off the mooring. The ref has whistled it down. Big chance there on the two on one, two -on -one for the Cardinals. I think what we've seen in the last couple of rushes is that uh, Greenwich is getting back to their counterattack. Nice, calm, uh, uh, well paced passes. And they're starting to move. They're starting to move the puck. It's just what they were doing in the second. They need to get back to that. 5.30 to go. Fairfield prep up three to two. Carroll tries to clear and does. Santry touches it back to Fulton, to Mosian. Now Lawrence intercepted by Eckert. He comes in, spins, looking for his buddy Mancini. Goes into the corner. Mancini dumps it back. Jesuit cycling now. Santry throws it to Mosian too far to center. Goes back behind the Cardinal net. Five to play. Three to two Jesuits. This is the Connecticut State Final. Here comes Kovalev, surrounded, surrounded by Jesuits. Connor Boyle takes him in. Centering pass, Mosian just can't quite get the wood on it. Yeah, Kobe double teamed in the corner there. Mosian in the corner now, comes away with it somehow. Mosian, oh, tries to find Kovalev. Connor Boyle, great diving defensive play. Shot by Bellatay Martinelli. That's not going to be a goal. There was a clear whistle before that one went in. The Greenwich fans are not happy about that, but there was very clearly a whistle that was blown. I guess the net must have been off, but I heard a whistle before that yeah. shot. Yeah, that was clear. It was very clear, Rob. I'm just wondering how the net came off here. There it is, right there. The McGee knocks it off right there to start the play. Well, that's, that's one way to defend a shot. Uh. I'm not so sure about that one. A little gamesmanship, perhaps. That's that's a tough one that's, for the Cardinals. Yeah, it sure is. 4.33 to go. Oh, having a discussion with Coach Rurak there. Coach Rurak clearly not happy with that call. And I can't blame him one bit. Buck hits the side of the net. This is Davey and Castle battling for it. Castle turns around and takes it back the other way, but Davey doesn't give up. Still Davey, great four check by Matt Davey there. Castle takes now back for prep. Banks it up ahead to Carter Kroll, but too far, and Pelletier Martinelli gets it and sends it back to Kovalev. Kovalev, top of the circle, shot partially deflected, and the puck goes out of play. Yeah, it was a headman pass to Kobe. He was in on alone, but it was a, a one on two there. Just trying to get a nice hard shot off. Boy, I tell you, you, you go back, uh, look at that shot. I mean, uh, great shot, great stop, but obviously that was clearly off um, a, a few moments before. It's going to be Davy and Eckert on the draw, deep in the Jesuit end. They have taken a moment now to. Fix the netting. 4.05 to go. Cardinals have shown they can do it in dramatic fashion. I'm sure they prefer not to wait that long if they can help it. This is Eckert. Banks it up ahead to himself. Hits his skates. Mancini flicks it back to Eckert, but too far in Fulton controls. Nice play by Fulton to slow it down. Looking for Kovalev. Kovalev, top of the circle. Takes it in deep. Shot in front. Save, uh, save McGee. Nice hard shot once again by Kobe. Couldn't handle it, no one there for the rebound. Santry plays catch with Fulton, gets it back now to Bogger. Bogger up to Davey. Davey taken down, no call. Centering pass broken up by Salato, who headmans to Mancini. Mancini takes, Salato joins the attack. Mancini goes in deep, played nicely by Pelletier Martinelli. Puck goes back to the point, this is Evan Uva. He scored. The one that put Prep up 3-2. Shot, one-timer, great save. Big shot there by Oracoli. He has two on the day. Here comes Davian across the line. Shot broken up by Uva. Goes into the corner. Back to the point. Kept in by Pelletier Martinelli. Behind the net, Davy Played by Castle. Good defensive play there. Bangs it up ahead. But Pelletier Martinelli keeps it in. Uva plays it off his skate to Mancini to center. And now back behind the Jesuit net. 
2.42 to go, time becoming a factor now for the Cardinals. Headman pass too far, and we will have an icing as we wind things down here in the state championship finals. There's Coach Rorak. He's gotta be thinking about when is time to pull the goalie if we get to that point. Against, Rid against uh, Xavier, they pulled the goalie about a minute and a half, so yeah. we'll be looking for that a minute from now, but that makes sense. I'm sure they'd like to get one sooner they if they, they could. Yeah, if they can avoid it, they would love to. Connor Boyle sends it all the way down. We may have another icing, and we do, with 2.30 even left in this Connecticut State Championship Division One. Now Greenwich still pounding the shots, 26 shots to, uh, to Preps 20, but Preps had three go in. It's gonna be Mosian, Danielson, and Lawrence up front. Or a Coley Blanchett and Crawl up front for the Jesuits. Puck on the near boards. Mosian tries to flick it ahead to the point. Fulton keeps in. Locked down in front by Jack Carroll, but kept in the point now by Santry. Mosian behind the net tries to center, but swallowed up by a sea of white. And now Blanchett starts up the other way. Up ahead now to Oracoli. He's got two on a day. Played nicely by Santry. He plays it back to center. No icing, says the ref. Cole has it. Mosian chases him around the net. Cole Castle, head man to Eckert. Eckert shot and into the gut of Nash with a minute 47 to go. Well, this period has been, uh, I, I can't say it's been all prep. They've got, uh, they scored the, uh, the tying and go-ahead goals pretty early on. Play has been pretty even throughout. Um, I feel like in the last uh, five minutes or so, Greenwich has been uh, controlling the pace of play. And uh, now time for a timeout. Coach Rorak calling a timeout here. Talk things over, maybe get a little bit of rest for some of the top guys. Yeah, no question about that. Greenwich came out first. Matt Bogger scored, gave them a 1-0 lead. Kevin Oracoli answered unassisted, made it 1-1. That's how the first period ended. Second period, Bogger scored again uh, off from Mosian and Danielson, put Greenwich up two to one. And in the third, Oracoli tied it. And then Evan Uva on a shot from the point hit something. Maybe it was the Greenwich player, but we definitely saw been. some kind of deflection that had Nash moving the other way and it trickled in. We've had a couple of goals that were a little controversial. At the end of the second period, we had one that we thought maybe went in, maybe yeah. went off the crossbar for Greenwich, couldn't quite tell. And then Nick Pelletier Martinelli scored one, but it had been whistled down uh, a second before as the net was off the moorings. But these are things that you can't really dwell on if you're Greenwich yeah, because it's 3-2 on the scoreboard and that's all that matters. Yeah, if it's no goal, it's no goal. The ref's not gonna change his mind, not gonna re reverse the call, and there is no instant replay. So what are you gonna do? You gotta get out there, keep your head up, keep playing and get that next goal. Here we go, a minute 47 to go. It's gonna be Bogger, Davy, and Kovalev. All three of those guys can score. A lot of firepower on the ice. Solano controls momentarily. Now Mancini hit by Pelletier Martinelli, but Ecker controls, spins around, shot. Big save, Nash. Always reliable, Ben Nash. Puck to the point, thrown back on. Here comes Kovalev, always dangerous with the puck. Crosses center ice, tries to get it deep, but can and Castle flips back out. Right. Missed played by Colombo, and here comes, here comes Mancini, but Pelletier Martinelli is there, loses his stick, takes Eckert into the boards, Keep using the body well. Keep that puck moving, boys. A here minute we go. 11 to go. Kernigan plays back to center, and we've got a whistle. We got Ben Nash looking. What do we got here? We got Ben Nash looking, uh, looking at the bench. Waiting to jump over the boards. They're gonna pull him now. Puck will be dropped deep into the Jesuit end. We have a minute eight to go. It's been 25 years since the Greenwich Cardinals have won the Division I championship in Connecticut. They've got some firepower out there. A couple of uh, couple of big boomer slap shots on the on the defensive zone. They need another miracle. Davey. Battles with Kernigan in the corner. Or Coley comes in to help. Kernigan comes away with it. Headman, shot on goal, and it's oh. in. Empty net by Carter Cole, and it's four to two with 57.5 to play. 
And that might be too much for the Cardinals to come back from. I don't know. I look at Alex Mosey in the center ice. Familiar scene, goal goes in. He comes right to the blue, blue line, or sorry, right to the red line. Wants to drop that puck. The boys are with him. Looks like Nash is going back in the net. I don't know, this is a powerful team. They could, uh, they're explosive on the offensive line. Let's see if they can pop one here real quick. 57.5 to go in this one. Prep now up four to two. Pelletier Martinelli winds it to center. They need a quick one now to have any chance at all. Davies centering pass for Mosian. But Blanchette manages to clear 34 on the clock. Pelletier Martinelli is back for it. 28 seconds to go. We have a whistle. Did we have a whistle? It sounded like we had a whistle. We had a whistle, but they're still playing. Uh, it might have been something from the audience. 20 seconds to go. And this one looks like it's just about over. Santry tries to take it in. Salado on the back check. Six seconds to go. And that will do it. Wow. A tremendous afternoon. Sticks are in the air. Fairfield prep. Hugging their goalie. Alex Mosian and Ben Nash. It's been quite a run for the Greenwich Cardinals this year. We make no bones about our affiliation. We're local guys. This has been probably the best season of Cardinal hockey in a very, very long time, if not ever. It was the most wins on a season for a team in for, for the Greenwich High School. Nothing to be ashamed of here. They gave it all. They had a real chance to take this one. 3-2 game plus the empty netter. But hats off to the Fairfield Prep Jesuits. They are your Division I state champions. And there's nothing left to do now except shake hands on the ice. Uh, it's been a tough, uh, that's a tough way to lose there. But they played their hearts out, I gotta tell you. Something, uh, something to see, it's been an honor to be part of the season. Something that uh, only came upon us about a few days before the season started. So we've, uh, we've had the, the honor of calling the, calling the team, calling the, calling the games all year. And uh, boy, I, my heart goes out to these kids. I'm just looking in their faces and it's, uh, it's hard not to get emotional about it. A uh, lot of hard work out there. A lot of very talented players and uh, a really united team. You know, you hate, you hate to see them go down, but I think they're gonna be around for a while. Yep, they played their hearts out to be sure. They're lining up now for the handshakes. And I think what makes it doubly tough is a lot of great kids on this Greenwich team, not just on the ice, yeah. but off the ice. 100%. Alex Mosian, it starts with him, skater of the year. What a great kid this is. Not only talented on the ice, but a team player, humble, modest, just a, just a great kid. Ollie Fulton might throw in that category as well. Uh, so many of these, uh, so many of these kids are just to Nick Pelletier, Martinelli, all, all of them. Charlie yeah. Graves, Sean Prattley, one after the other. Thatcher Danielson. So many great kids on this team, yeah, and they yeah. played their hearts out here on St. Patrick's Day at the Ingalls rink. Nothing to be ashamed of. The Greenwich fans giving them a big round of applause. But today was Fairfield Preps Day. It was Kevin Oracoli who tied it after a Bogger goal in period one. Bogger scored again in period two. Oracoli tied it. And Evan Uva, the senior, got the game winner in the third on a shot from the point. And then they added an empty netter. I believe that was Carter Crawl to make it 4-2. What a great matchup. There's Mosian, always the sportsman, congratulating Jack McGee, congratulating the coaches. And I guess we will have the cup presentation. There's Alex Mosian. Yeah. Tremendous, tremendous player. Missed all, almost all of last season with an injury. Went down in the third game of the season. Missed the whole, the whole season. Rehabbed, worked hard, came back. We just can't say enough about that kid. 
no doubt about it. Had some goals in mind, came up close, and, uh, you know, God, just, a, just a tremendous effort by everyone. Bogger, two beautiful goals today. You know, uh, we'll, we'll let him get on with the, the, the ceremony right now. Nash, tremendous season. Sophomore goalie stood tall, made a ton of great saves today. Two, John Duffy. John Duffy, the senior. Three, George Getz. <laughs> it's really Bo Getz, but somehow his father's name is George, and they just say George Getz. Four, maybe it, 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 maybe is his it's real name George? It, maybe it is. Charlie Graves, tremendous season on the year. 10 goals, 11 assists. Can't say enough about Nick. Yeah, tremendous game today as well. Sure, big sure defensive, did. big defenseman back there. All right, JT. Andrew Frost, the junior, he will be back next year. Set it all for Alex. Yeah, that's for sure. Man, Oliver Fulton. Ollie Fulton, the end of a great four-year varsity career here. Ten, Sean Brefley. Big heart, big heart. Eleven, Dylan Madden. Dylan Madden, another graduating senior. Next year, my goal is to get his name right, but is well, he graduating? We're not sure. I think he's a he senior answered, as well. He answers to Matt, so that's all that matters. Matt Davey. 16, David Mears. 17, Patrick Danielson. Danielson, a freshman. He's got a long career ahead of him here he at sure Greenwich High School. Tremendous 18, player. Connor Santry. Connor Santry. Injured early yeah. in the year, but Missed came back very strong. Cataldo, another freshman with his brother Chris. Jim Estovich. 22, Isaac Cadigan. 23, Edward Cox. 24, Sean Duffy. 26, Mike Carney. 27, Nikita Kovalev. Nikita Kovalev, only a sophomore. Yeah, outstanding, Robert outstanding Ray. year. There are your 2017-2018 Greenwich High School Cardinals. And now the individual awards presented to the members of the championship Fairfield Cup judgments. Number two, Cole Castle. Six, 
Not booing, Jonesy. They're yelling clues. That's right. Absolutely. They're not booing. They're yelling Uva. <laughs> Twenty-three, Jeff Carroll. Carroll, they're actually booing. No, they are actually booing. Them. Twenty-four, Kevin Oracoli. Great game for Oracoli yep. today. Two nice goals. Twenty-six, Colin Miller. Know that's got to be hard for them to receive that they're uh, great sportsmen handling it very well very graciously it's the trophy you don't want to get exactly you look on their face says it all say that uh, looking at this squad throughout the year you just it just feels like the program's coming along to such a spot where this could be the, these guys not too long from now I think absolutely that will wrap things up here from the Ingalls rink the Fairfield prep Jesuits take the SEAC championship by a score of four to two over the Greenwich Cardinals Jonesy it's been a pleasure all season absolutely. and I must say to all the Greenwich players, coaches, fans. We have had a great time being with you. It's been a real honor and it's been a privilege. I speak for Jonesy and myself and of course Andrew Boyer who couldn't be here today. Uh, it's been a great season. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of for anybody. Some of the great hockey parents, hockey kids, hockey coaches around. No question. It's been a great thrill. Yeah, it really, it's, it's been great. These kids deserve so much of the credit. Coach Rock, coaching staff, 
just, uh, you know, a great season. It, 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 you, you feel sad for the seniors that are moving on. Um, lot, they're, they're definitely going to be missed next year, but a lot of good talent coming up, and it should be exciting. But uh, as for this season, such a, such a pleasure to be part of it and doing this with you, Rob, doing it with Mr. Uh, Andy Boyer. We call him Andy Boyer. And, um, yeah, what can you say? Well, that'll do it. And uh, I think the way to think of this is not as an end, but a beginning. Exactly. We'll be back next year with more of Cardinal Hockey.